Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to show you guys how to use Samsung Link. And then uh, before I start, I'm going to give you guys a fast explanation of what Samsung Link is. So what it is, is it was originally referred to as All Share Play, uh, and now it's referred to as Samsung Link, and I'll tell you guys why. Um, right there on the lower TV, you guys are going to see what the icon is. Samsung Link is where you'd be able to share all the different content between all of the registered devices. Now, a registered device is a device that has the Samsung account enabled and signed in. Now, in terms of the registered devices, that can include a camera that has uh, either Wi-Fi or data connected. You also have the computers and laptops, then you have your Samsung TVs, the Samsung tablets, and then also your phones as well. So when you first get a phone, it's going to ask you to set up your Gmail and your Samsung account, things like that. Uh, this is where you'd be able to link this registered device when you first buy it. And so if you don't have a Samsung account, you can just create one right there on your phone or tablet. On the computer side of things, when you go to your laptop or computer and you head over to where it is the website of http colon backslash backslash and then link.samsung.com. Then all you got to do is when you go there, you just sign in and then this is where you can check out Samsung applications. You can go to chat on Samsung link so you can get everything all linked up. And then you also have Find My Mobile. And so with Find My Mobile, this one is extremely accurate. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it a little bit and then I'm also gonna blur this section. But this is where you'd be able to, um, since you can't really see it, I'll just tell you on the left-hand side, you can locate My Mobile, you can lock My Mobile, ring My Mobile, so if you don't know exactly where it is, you need to be able to have it ring. And then you also have call logs and then you can unlock your screen. So if you lose your phone, this is a great place to go if you wanna be able to find it. Um, what you'd be able to do with Samsung Link is once you get everything all connected and registered, uh, when you go into Samsung Link, this is where you'd be able to share all this different content, which is your photos, your music, your videos, documents, files, things like that. And so when I talk about all of this right here, it's nothing that is streamed. Uh, it's everything that is saved on your device. So let's say that I wanted to see what is going on on this phone right here. So you can either swipe over to where you can see all of this content, uh, all the registered devices, or you can just hit on the menu icon on the upper left. Right here, it's gonna show all content. It's gonna show, number one, your first device that you're holding on in your hand. It's gonna show everything else that's connected. So if I had my computer on and everything, I'd be able to see all my documents and pictures and videos on there. You can also register different storages, like Dropbox, you can do SugarSync, Box, and SkyDrive. All you have to do is just sign in. So everything is extremely easy. Just make sure you sign into all these different avenues, and then this is where you'd be able to view everything. So here's the thing that's really cool. I can go to all content, and this is going to show all the pictures that I have on all of my registered devices. Um, here is music, videos, and etc. Um, let's say I only want to view what is on my work phone. I can head over to my work phone, and then these are all the videos on my work phone, the music on the work phone. Um, and let's say that this is on my work phone or a computer, and let's say that I want it onto this device right here. Now you hit on that button right there with the little box with the check mark, and this is where you just choose everything that you want to have. Then all you got to do is just hit on that little arrow right there. So when you hit on the arrow, this is where you can choose it to go to a registered storage or one of the registered devices. So that is how you guys set it up, get everything linked up together, what it is. Now let me show you how it works when you put it onto a TV, let's first say. So I'm going to go to all content. I'm going to head over and I'm going to do a song first. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this little uh, um, scratching beat here that I've done a while ago. And so when you click on the song, now it's going to be going to the TV or wherever you last played it. And so let's say that it didn't play on the TV first and it plays on your device. So right now it's actually playing on my device. Excuse me, let me turn on my, my volume. Click on All Share Play on the top left. I'm going to choose the TV and so now it's actually be playing on the TV on the bottom. Now the reason why it's playing on the TV on the bottom is because that TV has Wi-Fi. The TV on the top does not. So we're just going to keep playing it. And then when you have the volume icon right here on the upper right hand side, you can actually control volume that way or with the volume rocker. So it's actually cool. And it's not the volume on the phone, it's actually the volume on the TV. As you can tell, I just turned it up. Now if I want to switch this to the TV on the top, I can go to Xbox because now it's going to be connected to my Xbox. So I'm going to pause it real quick. So you can put this on an Xbox One, a PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, whatever is all have, you know, that has the Wi-Fi capabilities. Um, which is crazy cool. So this is one of my favorite features. It's also fun because if you know all those different applications you can use to download videos and music and things like that, then you can actually watch any of these movies on your TV. And then you're just gonna choose that video that you guys wanna watch. Once you touch it, you hit play. 
Um, if it doesn't play right away, then make sure you hit on the all share play button on the very top. And so let's say I want to move it down to my TV on the bottom, then you just choose on TV. So basically you just got to choose the source of where you want it to play from. And then that's exactly uh, what's happening. So instead of it playing on your phone, it's just playing on the TV. One of the cool things about Samsung Link is that let's say that you are listening to a song. So I'll just put this on um, my game console. Let's say you're listening to a song um, and then you wanted to call a buddy or you wanted to go on the internet. You can actually just hit the home button and now it's actually going to be still playing in the background. So now you can call a friend, uh, you can send some text messages, you can go online, do whatever you want to, and then this is still you know, playing in the background. So the times that I use this the most is, you know, you wake up, you do whatever, you're having a party, whatever, and you want to listen to some music instead of, you know, Bluetoothing it to either uh, a little Bluetooth speaker. You can actually just boost it over to your TV if you have a soundbar connected to it. Or if you're someone like me who downloads a lot of videos and movies, um, then instead of actually, um, you know, watching it on a phone, you can just boost it to your TV. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit like. If you guys like any of the other videos I have, make sure you hit subscribe so you can just keep on watching. Thanks for the support and have a great day, everybody.